This is my tiny house. Come on in. Just inside the front door, I've got these two puffy chairs flanking this little boat fireplace. It's a very tiny fireplace, but it's a tiny house. Closet storage, a cabinet space below this desk. It's computer storage space, and there's a little table down here. When I pull this table out, believe it or not, as long as I have tiny plates, it seats four people. Like that. Here in the kitchen, I've got a bar sink, a double burner stove, a little refrigerator, and a toaster oven. The bathroom is the shower. So when I want to take a shower, the nozzle is on the ceiling and everything would get wet, except for I've got these little sliding doors that keep things dry. Um, and I can put this plastic curtain in here over the toilet, which is right down here. Above the kitchen, I've got access to the loft. That's where I sleep. So the, uh, the loft is nothing more than storage and sleeping. I've got all the storage at this end, and then at this end, I've got the sleeping with a bed. It sleeps too really comfortably. So this is, uh, this is my bed, and I've got a window at this end, um, and a fan vent behind the shelves at the other, so that if it ever gets hot, I can just turn this whole thing into a wind tunnel. This is the third of three tiny houses that I've lived in. They've all been uh, less than 100 square feet, and um, I've been doing this for over 10 years now. The reason why I, I've done it, or I should say the reasons why, are um, mostly just because I don't like vacuuming uh, and dusting and taking care of a lot of stuff that I'm not really using. And besides that, there's the environmental aspect of the whole thing. I don't like to think that I'm spewing a bunch of extra greenhouse gases into the environment or consuming a lot of non-renewable -re resources just, uh, just for the sake of wasted space. Show me your ass.